No, no, we're good. And Conor Murray, he's, he's okay to go with seeds. Yeah, he's in good form. Um, he's he's back in with the group, um, and he's uh, he's in good form. Looking forward to tomorrow. We wish we wish his dad the, the very best. The whole squad is hoping he gets a quick quick recovery. And um, just in terms of tomorrow and the, and the French scrum and the power they have, it was one area that they didn't show much weakness in. And given the injuries that you've had, just talk to us about that battle tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's um, I guess giving them access into the game through through penalties um, is going to be huge tomorrow. And you know the, the battle at scrum time is, go, is going to play a big part. Um, so it's it's a challenge for sure. Um, Wayne Barnes is going to be the ref. That there's going to be bits around the bind, the space that that's there at bind, and making sure that that's maintained, so they're not loading on us. Um, there's little bits like that that have to be boxed off. Um, but you know we've had a good week. We've had a good uh, two weeks. Um, Rob Herring is is he's very experienced in what he does. He, he learned from the best and Rory best. Um, He's got really good feel in the front row. Um, he fires well uh, on set, and that's what we want. We want to get across the line, get to height, and uh, it'll be a battle. Uh, but it, it's, it's something we're looking forward to. Just in terms of the bigger picture, obviously this game doesn't feel like just a regular Six Nations game. There's, there's a lot around it, a lot of hype, a lot of you know, the first and second, all of that. Is that seeped through into the camp, or do you? It's a it's a big game. It's the next game, but it it is it is a it is a big game. We, we've played these guys twice. Uh, the last two times we played these guys, we, we we didn't come out the right side of it. So we want to be the best version of ourselves when we play tomorrow. And and I guess that's what people are focused on now. That's what the lads are focused on is is putting out a, a performance that we can be proud of. Um, we, we felt we didn't do that the last two times. So the, so so there's a little there's a little, there's a little bit of. Um, thought around that. Let's make sure we're putting out the best performance uh, against this team. Uh, hi, John Perkins. Hi, how are you? This penalty is obviously going to play a huge part uh, in this game, the winning or losing of it. Um, just particularly with the front row, how do you, how, how do you feel everybody more than that? A physical challenge you're going to bring? Yeah, we, we can be as physical as, as, as anyone. I think, I think it's, it's important that we're nice and smart. Um, we're making good decisions as much as being physical. Um, the height that we can, we can scrummage at um, is going to be very important for us tomorrow. They've, they've, they've got some size in, the, in their front row. But like I said, um, Antonio, he's a huge, huge man. Um, having to hold, hold, that, hold that shape on bind that he's not spilling across, um, that can be difficult for him to get into a scrum. So we're going to make it as difficult as possible for them tomorrow. Um, we're clearing our heads about how we're going to go about our business at scrum time. And like I said, um, we're, we're ready. Yeah, momentum is huge, isn't it, in these games? Like I said, you, you, you're playing in the right areas. You're putting your team in the right areas. Um, so it's important tomorrow that, we're, that we're, we're smart in how we exit. We're, we're not overplaying in certain areas of the field. And, and that we're smart with our kicking game, that we're, we're making good decisions in our attack, um, and so on. So there's, there's lots to play, playing quick uh, or getting a fast start. And making the right decisions and making clear decisions is, 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 is what it comes down to. And that comes down to being nice and calm in our minds, not making it something it isn't. Um, and you know that's the challenge now for the lads to be. They've, they've done their prep, they've done their work, um, rest up now, and arrive ready to perform tomorrow. And uh, when the time comes, be calm enough to execute. Uh, whether that's an exit, whether that's you know whether we're playing uh, five meters out, whatever. So nice and calm, so we can uh, execute. John, how much? Uh Yeah, they did a they did a great job. They did a, they did a great job for large parts of the match, and and like I said, uh, they were cohesive. They were well aligned in, in what they did at scrum time, and and, and um, we'd like to think we're, we're similar in terms of uh, putting together a really good drill. So, we're, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. They, they did a great job. And um, just on a comment, were there any conversations this morning about potentially sort of standing him down for tomorrow, or has he been just completely violent? Not not that I'm aware. No, Connor's good. Connor is good. He's he's um, he's great. All considered. John, John, just in terms of the uh, discipline, going back to Paris last year, Ireland outscored France in terms of tries, but they lost because of six penalties essentially, which essentially then France went to win the Grand Slam. Have you gone back? 
about how the politician Hamilton should be spoken about the importance of avoiding cheap penalties? There's massive penalties, isn't it? Like again, access access into the 22 um, is huge. Uh, I think I think Faz said something like 18 18 tries scored um, in round one, and 11 of those came off penalties. So it's huge. It's massive, and like I said, been clear in our minds. Uh, been nice and calm in how we do things um, um, is really important. Um, I think last year we lost our way a small bit um, and we tried to fix things as individuals. Um, so that's, that, that was a huge learning coming out of that game that we're, we're, not, trying to, we're not trying to do it ourselves. We're, 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 uh, we're in sync in, in attack and defence and, and uh, that's been the focus and that's been a work on. We've learned so much from, we've learned so much from that game last year and we've, we've taken that into, into the games we've played since then. Um, so I'd like to think that we're we're a different side, um, a more ready side, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Do you think it's significant improvements, changes needed from last year, or is it just just a few tweaks? Because obviously it's only a narrow defeat in the end. Yeah, there's little little, little bits. Um, I think the main thing was uh, there, was, there was we were put under pressure. Um, it, it's an amazing place to play, um, like like the Millennium last week crowd um, atmosphere and you know they built pressure on us and we didn't deal well to that pressure um, and like I said we went off script a small bit uh, trying to fix things on our own um, and that was a huge learning and, and, and we've, we've, we've taken the learnings from it you know Happy enough for the live section? It's it's huge, it's huge, and um, the la the lads, you know, the lads have spoken about that during the week. How excited they are to, to be playing here in, in Aviva in front of our home crowd. Um, last week was was it was an amazing atmosphere, and we really will hope to, to for everyone to come out and, and deliver an amazing atmosphere what, for what's going to be a great game. Hopefully, oh, what's going to be a great game. Okay, guys, we'll switch into the uh, part of written words section. Very quite quirky. Okay. Given, um, given in relation to this, the current squad and what you've achieved particularly last year, winning really in New Zealand and beating South Africa and all that, does beating France feel like the last one check box as such in terms of getting over on the big teams? No, it's it's just I think it's it's they, they've beaten us they've beaten us the last two times. So we want to win. They're a very ambitious group. I think our development. Um, we've continued to learn from, from games that we've won and lost. Um, there's no grudge. There's no. It's it's a game that we we respect the French and how they play the game. Um, they, they do build pressure, but um, it's it's the next game for us now. It's a it is a big game. Um, but yeah, we feel we feel we've taken the learnings, like I said, from from wins and losses, and we're ready to we're ready to ready to play. For right now, I mean, for right now, this is this is a big game for us as a group. Um, we haven't spoken a whole lot about, you know, we haven't spoken about uh, a whole lot of psychological stuff around it. We want to perform as best we can tomorrow. It's fair to say to be Finley's biggest test, biggest start. Um, can you just speak about his development? What you? Yeah, he's he's um. He's improved so much, you know. He's improved so much in, in so many different ways. Um, he, he punches onto every ball now. He he, he, he makes an impact in, in what he's doing defensively and in attack. Um, I think Andy and Paul have been really, really good for him um, in helping him understand what he needs to do in, around the field. Um, and at scrum time, he, he, he's tricky. He gets to an unbelievably good height. He's, he's a bit of a technician at scrum time. Um, he's, a, he, he's someone that is very, very competitive. Um, He's got good discipline in what he does at scrum time, and he gets he gets into an, an uncomfortable height for loose heads. So that's going to be an interesting part of, of the game tomorrow. Um, him and Cyril Boy, um, it, it's going to be a nice battle. Well, yeah, so he isn't switching as much back to the loose heads. He's just been concentrating on tight over the past few years. Seems that's helped, and maybe his experience of playing loose heads gives him a little bit of an insight. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. The, the, the lads speak with each other. We we have a meeting on a Tuesday, where. Where the props will we will review some footage. We'll look at some some French footage and and the, the conversations uh, between loose heads, tight heads, and 
Um, the learnings in it is, are really important for the group and we've, they've come a long way and, and Finlay is, is, like I said, he's ready. He had a great day last week. I thought he, I thought he did very well um, at scrum time and we're excited to see him tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you, you lose Dan, and you're thinking he's he's, he's been a big player for us. Um, but so is Ronan, and um, he's had a bit of a journey, hasn't he, t to come back? And he's uh, he's primed, he's ready to go, he's he's dying to get on the field. So um, it's good to have. He's got some size at, at you know, he's big chest, uh, strong, strong at scrum time. So it, it's important he's back, yeah, for sure. Anything else, folks? Enough. John, okay. sorry, just on Rob Perry starting. What, what does he bring? Obviously, you're losing Dan. What does Rob bring? His set piece is excellent. He's, he's very calm. Um, he's, he's got a nice way of making sure that the guys left and right of him um, are clear in what they're doing. Um, like I said, he's, he's, he's learned from, from, from Bestie. He's got great feel in a scrum and he gets us out of the blocks. Um, so on set, he's, he, he punches in real nice. That's important to get our hips, our chest forward um, against the big heavy pack. So um, he delivers that really, really well. Um, he's a guy during the week, like I said, in those meetings that we're talking about, that he's, he adds a lot of value um, because of his experience. So we're very lucky to have someone like Rob. He's, um, he's waited to get a start like this, and uh, he's, he's had a good week now, and he'll be ready to go. Just a word on Caelan, obviously. Yeah, I think you know that th that game last year. He he um, he's learned so much from that experience against France last year in Paris, and he's he's one of the guys that took the learnings, put them into his game with Leinster and Ireland, and um, he's very very comfortable now on the field, um, and he's making he's making big impacts, isn't he? He's he's been very very good, world class. Okay, thanks guys.